So if you guys see a little black dot, I'm going to try to tell you where it is. Right here, that's because my wonderful iPhone 5, that's not even like a few months, well, it's like I got it in October, has something wrong with the camera. So all of the pictures and videos I've taken since whenever this occurred has this black spot on it. I actually, this is funny, I had um, one of my subscribers or viewers or whatever. Okay, so anyways, like I was saying, I'm going to just use this camera. Our house is messy, sorry. Excuse me, Wyatt. It's not that messy, I just cleaned it. Exactly, so that means it's messy. I just cleaned it's it. It's messy. So, yeah, I had a subscriber email me because she was concerned about a picture that she saw that had like a mole on Kaya, which I, you know, I really appreciate the concern, but it wasn't a mole. It's because my iPhone 5 is kind of broken right now, the camera, like it has that dot on everything. So I'm gonna have to go to Ann Arbor and get that fixed because that's where our nearest Apple store is. So maybe we'll do that next weekend, I don't know. Oh wait, we can't because we'll be in Fort Wayne next weekend for birthday party. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. So today is Saturday and we are doing something that if you've been following me since last summer, you know is something that we do all the time. We are going biking. It has been frigidly cold and annoying for the past few months, and it's finally gonna be, how warm is it supposed to be, John? Like 55. It's supposed to be like 55 today. So we are gonna go biking. Um, it's the afternoon, we waited till it got a little bit warmer. Um, in our family, we are huge cyclists. I should be more specific. We are not using a motorcycle, we are bicycling. My dad is huge on it, I grew up doing it. He used to take us on these long, long trips of like two to three days at a time where we'd tent camp and we'd carry the tents on the back of our bikes. I mean, it was, it was bad. We, yeah. Anyways, that's what our vacations were growing up. Now, and now that I'm older and want to be fit, I appreciate that. And my husband is a cyclist. I bought him his road bike for Valentine's Day two years ago. I surprised him with it. It was kind of cool. But anyways, so we are going to go bicycling for the first time of the season. I'm pretty excited because last year, as you recall, I was pregnant, heavily pregnant. So I was the uh, SAG, which is the assistant car. I would bring breakfast or donuts to wherever they would end up and then we would eat and then come home. Um, this year I get to bike. So in our family, obviously, you know, we have five people in our family, three kids. Hi, Ava. Three kids. My battery's about to die. Oh no, hold on. Okay, so we are back to using my iPhone with the weird dot mole because my camera battery is apparently dead, so I'm going to charge it real quick. But like I was saying, there's five of us in the family, so with three kids, what we are going to be doing today is we own a trailer slash baby jogger. Well, it's by baby jogger. It's a jogging stroller slash bike trailer. I'll show you guys it in a little bit. Um, that will be what Kaya rides in. Um, she will be dragged by my dad and my mom. They have a tandem that they'll be pulling her on. I will be on the tandem upright, which um, is basically what it sounds like, with Ava behind me. And then why it will ride in the Wii Who I Go that will be on John's bike. So I don't know how far we're going today. I hope it's not too far because I am very much out of shape. So we will see how that goes. But there's Ava and Kaya. Are you excited to go biking? Yeah. Yeah? Do you like your outfit? Why does your leggings have holes in it? Because they feel they feel better when they they, they um since like all my other leggings they can't breathe air so I so I sometimes like it when they have holes in them. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna do something with my hair because it's icky and um finish getting ready. These are my sexy back shorts. Not really. I need to get rid of that, but. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do, and then um, after that we'll probably have like a late lunch. Um, and then, I don't know what else we'll do today, but I did want to just vlog about this bike ride. So, yes, bye. <clears throat> so for those wondering, I did change. Why would you wonder? You wouldn't wonder, but I did end up having to change. I actually I put some pants on over my bike shorts because my legs are not summer tan yet. And I had to change because I realized like the top I was wearing, because I just nursed Kaya, the top I was wearing, sorry, let me, <clears throat> the top I was wearing earlier didn't have like, I had to pull up my whole shirt on both boobs because it was a built-in shelf bra to nurse Kaya. So I had to change into this because this doesn't have a built-in shelf bra and then I can wear my nursing bra underneath. But you know, somebody should make some, Nike, you need to really get on it and make some maternity or breastfeeding appropriate I don't know, nursing wear. That would be great. I'd appreciate that. But anyways, we are going to go, and then next time you see us, we will be 
biking. Yeah. Hey, Zidi. Hey, Zidi. You so smiley this morning. Can you say hello? Hi. <laughs> this is what the trunk looks like. And like I said, we never, ever, ever really do things on time <laughs> with three kids. And yeah, we're just waiting for mom and dad because they are going to carry the two older kids because we obviously don't have room for too many people in our car. So, yeah. How much do you love me? Dumb trucks and dumb trucks. Dumb trucks and dumb trucks? I love you designer shoes and handbags. Oh. <laughs> so I have a question for you guys. I know I said that the next time you'd see us we would be on our bikes, but I was just wondering, John and I bought new sunglasses. Now, John's very picky about his sunglasses. Just like any man, I think men are just more picky when it comes to their clothes and spending their money and stuff like that, which is fine and understandable. But what I want to know is how dorky do we look because we both have the same sunglasses? Do we look dorky? Now I'm kind of sitting here thinking, I wonder what people are thinking of us because we have the same sunglasses. And yeah, because I'm not a huge fan of the people who kind of dress alike. Like, like I don't know. Anyways, just just a question. So somebody fell asleep. Oh, clutching his squeezer. Yep. We're here at um, where we meet and unload and get onto this trail. So I'll show you guys our bikes. So this is the commotion. Well, actually, you could get off. And right now my mom and dad are fitting, don't worry, I'm not showing your faces, her into it. And I will be in the front and hopefully we won't crash and die. Because the issue with tandems is that you want to have a heavier person in the front. Me and my husband tried when we did our tandem rally a few years ago. <laughs> we tried with John in the front and I, or me in the front and John in the back and he's a good I don't know, 80 pounds heavier than me. No, that's being mean. He's probably, well, yeah, 80 pounds heavier than me. And we fell over immediately. So it'll be interesting to see if I can steer correctly with Ava behind me because she is probably similar to my weight more okay, now. Let's so let's do a fitting here. Now I need to be fitted, so. So this is mom and dad's, uh, what do you call this, recumbent tandem? Tandem recumbent. And they will be dragging Kaya in the trailer behind them. So they'll be kind of... It'll be three deep. It'll be interesting to see. And then this is the commotion. This is what me and Kaya, or me and Ava will be riding. As you can see, it's really low in the back and I will be in the front. Hopefully that'll work. And then this is the trailer, um, or the, yeah, thing. And this is our bike trailer for Kaya. It was Wyatt's. We bought it when he was a baby. It's a switchback hybrid. I don't know. We like it. Um, unfortunately, we kind of dented the, well, we, mom, dented the wheel within the first month of owning it and so we need to get that replaced or fixed and then it will ride better but it's a heavy trailer i'm not gonna lie it's not the lightest on the market um this front right here actually um it attaches to the back wheel but then that front part actually folds into the front and then you can put a wheel and then it becomes a jogger so i did jog with it a little bit um it's nice we took it to the zoo it's nice because it's uh you can see it can seat two people or two kids. It's got this nice screen and then it's also got this pull down flat for when it's raining. Also these screens open or close. And yeah, and it folds up really, really nicely. And it's got lots of pockets in the back. Um, it's got this one right here and then it's got um, an inner side one. So I, I really do really, really like this trailer. It'll be nice this summer. Uh, like I said at the zoo, we took it last year to keep Wyatt out of the heat. Um, so it'll be nice to be able to put Kaya and Wyatt in this this year. So um, yeah, so that'll be that'll be good to have. Um, like I said, there are lighter ones on the market and this one was kind of pricey. So if you're looking for something that's cheap, that would not be the choice. Um, so that's what it looks like. It's pretty long. That'll be what mom and dad ride. And then this is John's road bike that I bought him for Valentine's Day. Um, it's just a track, he really likes it. And then he will be pulling Wyatt on the WeHoo. We bought this, we bought this. My mom and dad got this for us for uh, Wyatt, when he, or for Ava, actually, 
and then she rode it for a little bit and then she outgrew it it the seat pulls back and adjusts back to that wheel so why it can grow into it and after why it's done with it kaya will use it it's nice because it's got two little saddlebags on each side it's got a place for his cup and then it's a five point harness so not only can he feel like he is pedaling <clears throat> but he is a five point harnessed in so if he falls asleep he can fall asleep and he will be safe so that is our setup hopefully we will be able to ride safely i don't know like i said i have not ridden on the front of the commotion we did a what was that 60 miles in one day for the tandem rally or is that 30 55 um after why it was born john and i were on the tandem and we did a tandem rally in indiana with my parents they were on their recumbent tandem and we were on the upright and john was in the front and i was in the back which i love being in the back of tandems if you haven't it's a lot of fun because you can play on your phone or look around and not pay attention so i will have to be in the front though and steering this time so it'll be interesting but um, we're gonna get the kids loaded and yeah both the wee little ones are asleep don't they look so similar <laughs> so we're gonna wake them up soon get them in the car and the wee hoo this is kaya's first bike ride getting her all situated she's in a sposy because we don't want to have to change her i'm gonna be able to ride as long as possible and Wyatt's all tuckered out, but he's in his wee-hoo. Say hi, Wyatt. Hi. <laughs> and there's the trailer. So we're going to get Kaya in the trailer and see how this goes. So, yeah. It's her first bike ride. Well, it's everybody's first bike ride of the season, but it's Kaya's first bike ride in general. And with the trailer, it's also a five-point harness, which is nice. Um, you have the two that go over the shoulder. She's in the middle, but if you want to seat two kids, you just um, obviously move them and use the outside straps. And then there's also a waist one as well. So she's not very heavily dressed because we will be putting down the plastic wrap to keep the wind down. Um, so kind of, um, it might be a little humid in here even for her. So we'll see how she does. Hi, sweetie. And she's got her toy. So this is a much nicer trailer than what I had growing up. We didn't have all these nice little pockets and padding and toys hanging from the ceiling. Hi, sweetie. But we definitely didn't have wee-hoos. <coughs> you having a fun time, Wyatt? Yeah. Got your juicy juice on your side pocket? Yeah. All right. So we're biking. Sorry, I'm not doing it in landscape form. But it's kind of hard to bike and video record at the same time. So there you have it. I'm trying to sneak up next to Wyatt. It's probably isn't the safest thing to be doing. <laughs> hey, why, why? You having fun? You having fun? Yeah? Pedaling in the wrong direction, bud. There you are. This is how we spend our Saturdays. <laughs> so, I'm gonna let you guys go for the bike ride part because this is really unsafe for me to be doing this with Ava on the back. Ava, say hi. Hi. All right, bye. Are you balancing already? 
John hates it when I record in portrait. So now we're doing landscape. Ooh, don't get so close to me, John. <laughs> Stop it. There's John. Can you see him? It will be really bad, so stop messing with me. I got a good groove going on. There's mom and dad in the tandem with Kaya. I just realized you guys can't see Ava because she's way, she's directly behind me, but there's Wyatt. Why, why? So we are at the school. We, um, there's mom, she's stretching. Dad's unhooking. We got a flat tire, unfortunately, on our, trailer so it's been two years the treads also I mean you can see it's worn down unfortunately we need to get this we need to get a new tire in general because it was a little bit crooked my mom took a curb and bent it the first year we had it so but Kaya did really well we did about 12 miles and she's hungry and tired hi sweetie yeah <laughs> but and she stayed nice and warm in here probably a little too warm actually but John went ahead and got the he's getting the van with Wyatt and coming back to pick up the thing and then he'll probably ride back with Ava on the commotion so yep there we go there's Hi. our Saturday all right guys so we are me and the two little ones Wyatt and Kaya are driving back to um, our meeting place Obviously, because of the flat tire, somebody had to ride the commotion back with Ava. So, John decided to do that because my uh, down there area is a little sore and not quite toned enough for the bike for too long. If you're not familiar with cycling, it's like riding a horse if you need a break in that area. Like, you have to get it trained and used to it. It's not just about getting your legs used to riding, it's also about getting your uh, private parts ready for riding. So after a while, it'll get used to being on a bike seat again, but it's been, I mean, almost two years like since I've been on a bike, because I biked the, let's see, after Wyatt was born, he's only three this summer, I biked the first summer, I did some mountain biking with my husband, four weeks postpartum, never doing that again. Um, and then the, Next summer, I did riding with my husband and then my family on cycling on Saturdays, and then we did the tandem rally, and then by the next summer, I was pregnant with Kaya again. So, it has been over two years since I've been on a bike, so um, it's gonna get, take some getting used to, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. We did about 12 miles. We would have done 15 altogether had the tire not blown, but we are headed back to the meeting spot. Kaya is really upset because she's super hungry, and I will wait and feed her and wait for everybody else to join us. So um, we are done with our day. Wyatt's sad because he'd like to continue, but we rode about 12 miles, and like I said, um, we left at around, I think, 1.30, like on our bikes, and then it's 4.30 now, and we are leaving, and now Kaya's upset. We're gonna head to my parents' house and have a very, very late lunch or early dinner, however you wanna look at it. It's not really good to eat a whole bunch before you ride. Um, but yeah, this is what we do on Saturdays when it like, starts to get nice out. We do this throughout the summer until it starts to get cold. And it's nice because now I can get back into shape. I think we're gonna start searching for a road bike for me, yes? We're gonna start searching for a road bike for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so if yeah. anybody has one. Yeah. Selling. If you're selling a road bike for a woman who's 5'3 three and 3 fourths, let me know. Like a 50, maybe a 50? A 50. What do you ride? A 52? I think I was a 52 when I got measured at that cycling place. Um, I'm really short, so that can either be really good for me or really bad for me, because that can mean that I can find really good bikes that will be lower priced for me because there aren't a lot of people my size or that could be really bad because they might not make as many in my size and they might be more rare. Yeah, so the bike shop could have had a 52 yeah. for a long time that they're trying to get rid of yeah. because nobody bought a 52. Yeah, so it, we'll see. Um, my mom and dad know some people who also customize bikes for funds as hobby, for funds, <laughs> for fun as hobbies. So we'll look into that too. But that's our goal, I think, for the summer is to get me in a really good bike so that our family can cycle on a regular basis again. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've been on a bike because I was either pregnant or postpartum. Um, I was telling them about how you made me 
motor or motor mountain bike four weeks postpartum after Wyatt. <laughs> it was not good for me. It was hard. I'm like, you only I, fell one time. Yeah, I did only fall once for the first time mountain biking, but it hurt. It hurt Gina a lot. It was bad. Um, but yeah, so that is our day. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along. Um, I, you'll probably see a lot more of day in the life vlogs like this since it's getting warmer out and this is what we do. Um, Kaya singing to you guys. <laughs> but I don't know. I think that's pretty much it for the day. Like I said, we might go shopping later. We really should clean the house, but that's just boring. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, I know some people, last time I posted a video with the Wii in it, I got tons of questions from people. And same with our Switchback. I, like I said, I really like our bike, um, our bro bike trailer. It's great because it can be a baby jogger or a trailer and it's very fancy. It's but made by baby jogger. It is made by baby jogger, but it's really heavy is the only issue. It's like a 25 pound trailer, which you can get way lighter trailers. Um, the reason why it's so heavy is because it's got a lot of like extra things on it. So if you're looking for a lightweight trailer, I don't think that is the best trailer for you. So just to put that out there. But the WeeHoo is awesome. The Wii is awesome, and last time I got a lot of questions about it, just Google Wii Hoo Igo. Um, like I said, it was we bought it, or my mom got it for us as a present for Ava when she was smaller, um, and she rode it up until I think first grade, just last year, and then Wyatt inherited it. So Wyatt uses it, and he falls fall asleep, and he'll go out with John and my dad in the mornings when they ride to do further, like 20, 30 mile rides. Um, 50, 60, sorry, mile rides. So it's great. So if you're trying to like, you know, if toddler wants to ride but can't really ride yet, um, it's a great thing. So the Wii Hoo is really nice. Uh, and then the Tandem Upright is not actually ours. That is actually my dad's. He bought it because he wanted to have a bike for us kids to be able to ride together on long bike trips. Um, just last year, I think he bought it. It was right before Wyatt like was two and a half years. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, he bought it for not for himself necessarily. Well, he did. He bought it so that he could take my daughter out on the bike. But anyway. Wyatt when he, Wyatt gets older. Yeah, and Wyatt when and he gets older. Tired. Um, but he bought it as kind of like a grandpa. Oh, I'll be able to take my grandkids out on it with me. Um, because Ava doesn't know how to ride a two wheeler yet. Hiya, sweetie. You are like I know you're singing to me, but you're being really loud. <laughs> Ava doesn't know how to ride a two-wheeler. If anyone has any advice or tips on how to get an eight-year-old on a two-wheeler, please let me know because I am like at my wit's end. We tried two summers now to get her on her own bike and she just does not want to. She's scared, I think, of falling. Um, but yeah, so we're that's what we're trying to do with her because with them. Yeah, we need to get her some hockey pants. We need to get her some hockey You know, like the, has the hip guards yeah. and some elbow pads. And some good gloves. That way, if she goes down, it won't hurt. Yeah. Whatever we need to do, we need to get on our own bike because, we unfortunately, around. we can't always haul around the commotion because it's too big. Um, she kind of singing. So if we want to go on a family trip without my parents, it's gonna be really hard. Um, I guess we could stick Wyatt and Kaya both in the trailer because it yeah, is a two-seater. We have two draft masters. But the, um, the but the trailer would be really really heavy for somebody to pull both kids. So the ideal situation would be for Ava to be Kaya for reals. You're being so loud. She's just singing to you. Um, the the ideal thing would be for Ava to be on her own bike, Wyatt to be in the Wii Hoo behind John, and then for me to drag Kaya in the trailer. So that is what our goal is for the summer. Cross our fingers that it works. Like I said, Ava's only with us every other weekend, so it does give us weekends. So like we could alternate weekends, you know, on the weekends that we do go on our own as a family, just make sure it's when Ava is at our dad's. And then when we go as a whole family with my parents, which is usually every Saturday anyways, um, my parents can pull the trailer, but we will see. Anyways, that is our day. Sorry I'm babbling. I will let you guys go and I hope you enjoyed this. Um, like I said, you'll be seeing a lot more of us cycling. Maybe we'll do some races. I want to do a fundraiser of some sort. Um, you know, I, I, I would just like, I don't know, I want to do something for good this summer and I'm not huge into running anymore because it's really hard on my back. So I consider doing maybe like a 5k or even a half marathon. <laughs> 
again, it's really hard on my back and my knees, and that's not, my physical therapist said that running is should not be one of my regular workouts anymore. So that's why I'm, you know, cycling and hooping is really good for me. But I would love to do some type of fundraiser race. So there's a lot of races during the summer and rides that our family likes to do and that I know John would love to do. And if I got a road bike, I'd love to do one too. So I was wondering if I did something like that, if you guys would be willing to, you know, help me fundraise for that. You know, if you'd be willing to donate or do something like that, because I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, and, you know, maybe, I don't know, it would probably be some type of health type of fundraiser. I don't know, I'll look into the rides. But if you guys think that you'd be interested in helping me out and doing one of those, let me know. Um, regardless, I'll probably do it anyways. But you know, if you're interested in helping, then I would post that on my Facebook and make a fundraiser page or something. But um, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go because I'm really tired now and I'm starving. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Say bye, Wyatt. Bye. Say bye, John. Bye. Bye, Kaya. Bye, Kaya. <laughs> bye.